Hello everyone. I'm here to give you a message that the Lord gave to me a couple of months ago. Um, he gave it to me in a dream. And so I'll explain the dream to you and then I'll give you the interpretation. This message is called, We Must Eliminate the Enemy. So in the dream, I was in a vehicle with my mother and we were going up the side of a mountain uh, into a new neighborhood. And this was a very nice neighborhood. Um, we arrived at the place and there was a vehicle there, like a new vehicle. Um, it was covered in a cream colored satin car cover and it had pink flower petals sprinkled on the top. And so we were really happy when we arrived, right? And then I walk into the house and there's this old twin size bed there. And it appeared that my brother had been sleeping in it or something already and it was kind of flimsy. Um, I didn't know if I really wanted to sleep in that bed or uh, if it was going to hold me or <laughs> anything. But anyways, the next thing I remember is going outside and on my vehicle, it was quite a different experience um, than when I had first arrived. There was a child on the vehicle surrounded by what I knew to be brain matter and the child was like ravenous just in this psychotic state of mind uh, eating this stuff and I remember after that seeing the leader of Britain on a stage and it was some kind of national event I got I got the impression that you know this activity the child was involved in uh, everybody was involved in the world like it was it was everywhere a lot of people were engaging in this so anyways the British leader was on the stage and coming up the aisle to come on stage with him was a mascot. Now it was the Ronald McDonald mascot and it morphed into the cheeseburger head. Okay? And the leader said, we're doing this in remembrance of the Queen. The next thing I know, I'm looking at the vehicle again and it's covered in this slimy, disgusting, octopus meat just huge huge pieces of this um it was purple and white and then i woke up um i was pretty disturbed when i woke up this wasn't you know a very good dream at all but the lord immediately began downloading the interpretation for this um, so we're going to go through that. Um, the first part of the dream, uh, the Lord wants you to know he's taking his people to higher places, to better places. Um, it was made known to me that when, when the mother is present in these dreams, it's symbolic of the Holy Spirit. And so... Um, it's basically saying that God wants to take you to higher places. He is taking us to higher places and better places. Um, but there's, there's some warnings and some guidelines here with this. Um, basically he wants us to be wise as serpents and gentle as doves during this time. Um, he's giving us knowledge through things like this, dreams, visions, words of knowledge, and he wants us to take heed and apply them to our lives. So, let's 
to be the Holy Spirit is our covering. And that's what the car cover represented. The Holy Spirit is our covering. Okay. The child was basically participating in eating human flesh. Right? Um, the human flesh is coming through our meat products. Uh, that are being manufactured and put out for us to eat by... The elite, the people who worship the god of this world, Satan, um, they do their human sacrifices, they grind up the meat, and they put it on our food supply. Now, some of you guys already know this, but a lot of you don't. A lot, especially, I don't, like, I don't want to get into it, but a lot of people don't know about this stuff, and if they ever did hear anything like this, it's so much to comprehend and to accept that we've been participating in this that, like, people will just shut down and they won't really accept it and then take action to not, you know, participate in this anymore because it's just too much for them to handle. But we're entering a time where people need to know these things and they need to uh, come out of the world um, because God's judging the world so what he wants us to know is one don't eat the meat go to him pray ask him what you should eat what you shouldn't eat where you should eat where you shouldn't eat because when we do eat this knowingly or unknowingly we are subject to uh, in this dream, it was specifically making it clear the octopus spirit, which is a marine spirit of mind control. So, the elite know these things. They know why they're putting this in your food. They're, they know what they want to accomplish by doing this. Um, so, basically... Uh, he wants me to talk about how when we sin, even if we don't know it's a sin or we don't know we're sinning, we're still subject to the consequences. We still receive the spirits that come with that. And I'll give you an example. It's not a very nice one, but it's very similar um, to this, you know, on the level of evil, okay? If you engage in... A sexually immoral act which is a very powerful door opener to the demonic realm coming in and having power over your life which is why they promote it so much um, once they have you morally compromised in that particular area that's your temple okay that is your temple and you are defiling it you are opening the door for evil to come in so you let's just say you willingly commit some type of act right um, you're going to suffer the consequences. Those spirits will come and you'll feel them and your life will change and you won't act the same and you'll have different bad things start happening out of nowhere. So if one of these acts is forced upon you, you, you wake up the next day and you are you are filled with those spirits whether you want them or not or you wanted that to happen to you or not. Okay, and that's equivalent to what's going on with this. Whether you realized it or not, whether you want it or not, whether you care or not, you're opening up a door by consuming these products from these companies that are doing this. Okay, um, if you don't know, these companies are owned by occultists, okay? Um, I don't really want to go into that a whole lot. But that's, that's why they're doing this.
the part where the British leader said we're doing this in remembrance of the Queen. For those of you who know already, the Queen was notorious for being a um, person who participated in cannibalism. Um, you know, there's many spiritual reasons why they do these things. They have to do these things, and then they, they crave doing these things. And so, the Lord is saying there's a parallel between them wanting us to participate in this satanic ritual with them by eating of this flesh, just like the queen did. Okay? And the Christian equivalent. All right? So the cultists, they do this eating of the flesh for a spiritual reason. They gain something out of it. And the Lord is saying, uh, you are to gain spiritual blessings out of uh, participating in what's called communion. I'm sure many of you know what this is. Um, you know, we eat the bread, which is the body of Christ. Um, you can read more about it. Luke 22:19 and on we eat Jesus's flesh through the eating of the bread spiritually and we drink his blood through drinking juice wine whatever you would choose honestly it's a spiritual thing so I can do communion with anything I can eat anything and drink anything and I the Lord knows you know, he doesn't really care. As long as you're doing it in remembrance of Christ. Okay? So he wants us to participate in communion. We need to do that. Um, if you don't go to a church, you can do what I do. Um, I do it at home. You know, look up a prayer. Look up a video online. Um, I'll try to find one. If I find one, I'll put in the link. In the description, I'll put a link in the description. Um, I'm also going to put a testimony in the description that I heard probably over a decade ago. Because um, I've kind of been in the know of this information for quite some time. And did weed out certain fast food companies from myself and my children's life. Uh, we refused to eat at certain places. But he's making it clear it's more widespread. Um... Because, and I'll get into it, recently somebody took me out to eat, um, actually I took them out to eat, kind of, sort of, yeah, I told them where to go to eat, <laughs> and I had convinced myself that this place was a better burger joint than, you know, the fast food places, and, but to be honest, I knew the first time I set foot in this restaurant. I saw the black and white checkerboard on the walls. I saw the red. And I'm like, yeah, this is Illuminati ran. You know, this is witchcraft. And they claim to have pure ingredients and to make everything right there on the spot. Um, but that doesn't matter. If the meat you're bringing into the restaurant is not all beef, <laughs> guess what? <laughs> you don't want to be eating it. Okay, so I went into this restaurant recently, and um, I ate the food, and because of inflation, the burgers were $3 more a piece than what they were. Then I ate it, and I was like, you know, this isn't the same as what I remember. This doesn't taste the same. Um, now at the time I, when I was eating it, you know, the Lord, he doesn't like to traumatize us. <laughs> so he, um, didn't tell me on the spot what was going on, but I was praying while I was in there and I was like, God, is this a place that I need to be not eating anymore? And, you know, later on he eventually revealed to me that yes. I don't need to eat there. And he just he just made it clear that, you know, while I was there, I didn't enjoy it. The price wasn't worth it. Um, it didn't taste the same. So, 
even with what we know now, still it's not worth it anyways. Why support a company that you know 100% is owned by these people? Don't support it, okay? Don't support these companies. Um, and that's the other part of the message uh, with the bed. The bed was basically representing, like, being a consumer of cheap products. Uh, a lot of it is coming in through China. And we're just consuming, consuming, buying, buying, buying because it's cheap and it's pretty and... It's, it's really not a quality product, though, and I think he's, he's wanting us to not support this anymore, not spend our dollars on this stuff. Um, we're fueling the enemy, basically. Why would you want to fuel the enemy? Uh, back in the old days, they took it very seriously when they would boycott something. They did not play around. When one person said, I'm done with this company, the town was done. <laughs> Now they've got you so brainwashed because you're eating this stuff, just one of the ways that they're infiltrating us and letting these spirits into our lives and our bodies and our souls. Um, because they are able to control our mind, we are making decisions that we wouldn't normally make. Okay, and I'll give you an example um, besides the one I just gave you. Other fast food restaurants. I would say, oh, well, they're not this one, and so I can eat here. I can't say that. If I know they're ran by the same people, you've got to make the same conclusions. You can't trust any of these people. Um, it's really hard to wean off of the system, but with determination, you can do it. And that's something he wants me to speak on. He wants me to speak on the head of the house. Um... I guess I'll get into that. Um, let me find the scripture that he wants me to read real quick. Do you not know that your body is the temple of the spirit of holiness who dwells within you, whom you have received from God, and you are not your own? And so God wants us to honor him with our bodies by being mindful with our consumption whether it be food or anything else that we're buying clothes that we're putting on you know anything we're bringing into our house really because that's our home and Jeremiah uh, you know the famous for I know the plans I have for you declares the Lord plans to prosper you and not to harm you plans to give you hope and a future so, he wants you to trust him right now. He wants you to trust that he knows what is good for you and that he's going to guide you through this process of weaning yourself off of, you know, maybe things that you're used to consuming. Um, he'll make it easy. Ask him, pray to him. He will make it easy for you. Um, he's brought a song uh, that speaks about this. Uh, you can listen to it if you want, if you feel led. Uh, the song is um, it's very, uh, a very, I don't know how to explain it. Um, the song is by a band called Disturbed. Uh, it's called Conflict. And... <laughs> I laughed when he gave it to me. I'm like, really? Really, that's what you're going to have me put out there? But he was serious. And that's why this is the song. Because he's serious. Okay, the message is we must eliminate the enemy. Right? And that's what this song is talking about. So, um, I'm going to go through some of the lyrics and what the Lord was speaking to me about the lyrics. Um, and so... I'll put the link in the description, but the first lyrics are, you are enemy, and he wants us to know and realize that this world system, the rulers of this world are agents of Satan. Uh, Satan, you know, is the prince of the power of the air, and his power in this earth a lot of people like to blame God for the evil in this world. 
but he explained it to me one day clear crystal clear satan doesn't have power unless we give it to him by disobeying him okay if we disobey satan has power all right so as long as there's people on this earth willing to disobey the lord's rules which are there to protect us they're not there to uh prevent us from enjoying life if you go into the garden of eden and you'll realize god made everything to bring pleasure and joy to us and make our lives wonderful he is not responsible for the evil in this world okay um so yeah the the rulers of this world, you know, that own all these corporations, all these companies, um, they are under Satan, the prince of the power of the air. And, you know, they're, they're leaders of countries, leaders of the banks, the churches, the organizations that are affiliated with them. You know, as many of you have already researched this stuff and learned about this, and some have known for decades, uh, like myself, but that's what's going on, that's why you know, we're, we're having these issues of the food being contaminated. Um, basically, they are eugenicists, right? They're eugenicists. They, they believe in killing off certain types of people, um, you know, especially Christians. You know, we're here because God wants us here right now. He's protecting our lives. So... Basically, you know, you can't, you can't trust eugenicists to make your food for you <laughs> or your, your health products. And if you do your research, they are in charge of the medical industry, the, the, anything having to do with the doctors and the medicine, um, they're in charge of that. Uh, they're in charge, they own all these food corporations. They own the food companies that are in the grocery store. Okay, so anyways, next lyrics. Um, I am enemy, a number one rated enemy. And right here, he's wanting you to know that you, me, we are the enemy to them. We are Christians. We have the power of the Holy Spirit flowing through us. We are their enemy. Their evil plans do not work when we are praying, when we are in obedience to the Lord. Okay, so that is why they have to do stuff like this secretly to infiltrate us, to get us under this mind control and get these demons in our lives because they want to control us. Okay, so we take authority and we get rid of this. We make a decision, do not do this. Okay, do not consume these products. Do not allow the enemy in. Okay, so... We are the owner of our bodies, our souls, and our minds. Okay? We're in control of our personal choices for ourselves and our families. Um, and he is specifically speaking to the heads of households. If you're the head of the household, whether you be male, female, um, aunt, uncle, grandma, grandpa, whatever you are, you take authority and you're home. And you say, no more. We're not buying this stuff. Okay? We're not bringing it into our house. Okay? As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. And this is part of serving Him and being obedient. We cannot expect to be protected when we are not being obedient to what He's telling us to do. And this is what He's telling us to do right now. He's telling us to eliminate the enemy and specifically the area of consuming these meat products. Because they are not all animal meat, as we discussed. So, alright. I am labeled enemy. I am your mortal enemy. And what he's wanting us to know about this is... We are the enemy to the demonic realm, okay, the, the, the demons, which are behind everything. 
Anytime a human is doing something sinful, there is a spirit behind it. It's not just people going, oh, we want to be evil. <laughs> okay, there is a powerful force behind anybody who's doing evil. Um, I'm not going to get into how they work, um, but they're basically parasites. They, they suck off of the energy of the sin. They experience it through um, humans sinning. That's why they try to get us to sin. And, you know, there's many other reasons. But anyways, um, he wants us to be mindful of that, that this is a spiritual battle. Okay, and then, you know, basically, you know, the lyrics, I am your mortal enemy, we are mortals, they are not, you know, our, our bodies are mortal, okay, it can die, right, um, our souls live, but we're the mortals on this earth, okay, um, and with Christ we have power over the demons, our enemy, so, then it says, my actions, enemy. Here, in this present dimension, we have the power to stand up and fight back against what kills and enslaves our bodies and souls. We are the enemy. Our actions are the enemy by choosing life. Okay, and it goes back to that scripture. As for me and my household, we will serve the Lord. We choose life. Okay, and he wants you to... Recite that. We choose life. As for me and my household, we will serve the Lord. We choose life. Because when you're consuming these products, you're consuming death. Okay? Um, make me your bitter enemy. Uh, basically, you know, we're, we're their natural enemy because we're at war with them. And so we're just reinstating that we are their enemy the you know we're not friends stop being friends with the world stop being friends with these companies um stop throwing your money at them stop putting this stuff into your body stop bringing this stuff into your home these you know a lot of these chinese items uh they're cursed items there's a lot of cursed items um i'm not getting into that but you know you, you have to pray about it the lord will tell you when Something is not something you need to bring in your home. You need to be very sensitive to what he's he's speaking in these times. Uh, the world created enemy. Which is basically what we went over before. The satanic world order. We are resisting in obedience to God our Father who has our best interest at heart. Um, exterminate the enemy. We're not supporting it any longer, and we're not drawing attention to it. Uh, meaning, I know when I was first learning about these things, I would talk about it a lot because I needed to talk about it, you know, and work through it mentally. And, you know, there's a time and a place for that. But he's saying, basically, another way we eliminate the enemy is by not focusing on it too much. We just make that decision and then we go about our way, okay? We spread the news when we need to, but we don't, we don't give it power. We don't give it too much power by focusing on it. Um, and basically by doing this, you know, we're going to be setting our minds free from this, you know, this, this mind control spirit. Um, I must eliminate my enemy. Same thing. The foods sacrificed to the idols, human flesh foods. Um, if there was ever a time to, you know, follow that scripture that talks about not eating food sacrificed to idols, this is a perfect example. This this would be the one time that we know, you know, what these bodies were used for. Um, you try to tell me that you love life. Then find another way to kill life. Uh, this is basically... These companies, they, they come out acting like they're family-oriented, benevolent companies that care about you. That is how they lure you in, right? And obviously they're not. They're The only family-oriented thing that they are about is killing your family and poisoning your family. Um, destroying your genes, you know. I've researched food since I was a little girl. Um, 
basically sitting at the the breakfast table reading the cereal boxes I've always been interested in what are they putting in the foods and none, none of the stuff that these companies are putting in your food should be in your body at all and you know I'm guilty throughout the years of eating um, not the purest foods I would try you know I would definitely try but you know sometimes it's it's hard especially if you're you're on a limited income you don't you don't get to pick out exactly what you want all the time it's and if you do it's it can get kind of boring but boring meals you know with love and knowing that it's pure and untainted that's that's better than artificially flavored chemical food you know what i mean um but anyways so yeah, the main message is, um, as Christians and followers of Christ, we choose life. So take this to the Lord, pray about it, and just realize that as crazy as this sounds, it's going to set you free in ways that you did not even know that you were in bondage. And that is what is important here. And so pray about it, ask the Lord what you should do, what you should not do. Um, you know, never just take my word for anything. Always pray. I'm not God. I just, you know, try to do what he tells me to do. Um, but he's the ultimate authority. And if you've never heard about any of these subjects before, I can understand why you might sit there and be like, I don't know about that. <laughs> but... You know, like I said, I've known about this for well over a decade, so it's it's really not news to me, but a lot of people don't know. And even though I knew, like I said before, I'm guilty of eating at places that I knew were probably involved, and I just put it in the back of my mind and justified, and, you know, I've repented of that since, um, since I've received this message and the Lord has spoken to me more about it in depth, but yeah, um, so I'm going to say a quick prayer, and then I'll be done here. Thank you, Lord, so much for bringing us together today. Thank you for your word. Thank you for your direction and your guidance. Thank you for your Holy Spirit that speaks to us in so many different creative ways and leads us to the right path um, and gives us understanding and peace and direction for our lives lord we're just so grateful for what you have given to us the helper we love you god and we thank you for caring about us and warning us and instructing us in the right way we love you so much amen